Welcome to the 2024 F1 Belgium Grand Prix predictions. I'm Sagan and I'm joining by Captain HX. Welcome. <laughs> yep, yeah, we are both are ready as uh, we've been traded quite a bit uh, in the past few races. But uh, the last race was more of a one of the drama side rather than the racing, but Hopefully we can get some uh, interesting race in Spa uh, with some rain forecast as well for uh, at least Saturday. So uh, interesting. Okay, uh, your predictions uh, for qualifying starting from P5. I think your it's your turn, right? Is it mine? Okay, 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 okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna begin. Uh, I'm gonna go with Lewis for P5. Okay. Um, he got P5 in Hungary. Which driver? Oh, yeah. Uh, we are including Max, I think. Because it's. Yeah, because we have to. You have to count Max. And I still think he's going to get pulled because he doesn't. He doesn't take the entire engine penalty. He's only 10 places. So we still. Gonna keep beating qualifying to start P11. Um, obviously, his aim is to start P11, but uh, it's already obviously gonna be difficult with the very quick McLarens uh, up there as well. Okay, your P5. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> you put signs in your top five every time, so somehow you always get points. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Okay. Charles P4. Um, so we're gonna hurry up there. Uh, this time I'm putting Charles in P4. The last name was Car Carlos in P4. So I'm switching it up. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, top three is pretty much set. You know which drivers we're putting top three. I think both of us know. <laughs> Oh, fair, 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 fair enough. All right, uh, my P3 is Oscar Piastri. P3, uh, after winning the last race, gonna get another top three in qualifying. It's been very good in qualifying this year. Uh, missed out on pole by ridiculous margins uh, quite a few times already. And still not quite on pole position this time. Ooh. Interesting, interesting. Uh, I think we, we've uh, we're breaking over a very different baking order then. I'm gonna go with Philando P2. McLaren 2 free. Ooh. All right. Another McLaren 1 2. I see. Okay. Okay. Sergio Perez. Okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> no way I'm putting Sergio in my top five. Uh, Max full. <laughs> yeah. I think I have never done it. Like, I think I kept my word. I'm not gonna do it, especially after recent form from Sergio uh, and his uh, exits in Q1. It would be very stupid to do so. Max pole position. I think Red Bull are gonna be very quick this weekend, uh, potentially beating McLaren in raw pace, and that's what I think is gonna be happening. Qualifying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Imagine it's Piastri on pole <laughs> and Max in P2. <laughs> that would be like no. Yeah, that would be like no points for us, but we would get the top three, right? 
All right, all right. Grand Prix. Uh, my P5 is going to be Charles Leclerc. Uh, pardon me. Yeah. Um, I think they're going to be pretty much the same as they have been the last few weekends, like in the territory right behind the McLaren Red Bull, like in the Mercedes territory pretty much, but Mercedes have been pretty good uh, in Canada, Silverstone, for example. So, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, all right. I'm gonna go with. I okay, guess this is probably stupid, but Max B4. Not in the podium. Uh, okay, uh, this is my most stupid predictions of the year, bro. Max not on the podium. Like, yeah. What am I doing? But, like, Two years ago, he won from P14. It was like P1, 15 laps in. Uh, yeah, it's his track. Okay, okay. Um, I have my Lewis in P3. Getting another podium. Uh, like that's uh, I think third podium in a row. Uh, I feel like this is gonna be a good weekend for Lewis. He's always pretty good in the on this track, I think, as well. Um, this could be a good weekend for Lewis, I think. Yeah, that's true. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I initially wanted to go for for back to back, but I'm not gonna go for a uh, Piastri P2. I think it's gonna. It's actually it's too difficult to because I think they have like the equal chance of uh getting uh to win each of them, but on the other hand, I still think Lando cool. It's just a little bit better on those tires, and Spa is like one of the circuits that you really need to take care of your tires, especially for the for the quick turns in sector two and, and so on. Yep, yep. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, uh, we got both a uh, uh, McLaren one two with Norris and uh, and P one, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Pierre Gasly, <laughs> Valtteri Bottas. Okay, fastest lap. Um, the last thing was pretty good, but this time Max is going through the field. Probably gonna get the fastest lap along the way. <laughs> okay, okay, fair. I'm gonna go with least impressive. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, I'm going to start with least impressive driver then. Uh, science. Uh, a random pick. Uh, it's not based on anything specific. <laughs> yeah, it's by. Is, what do you think about it? this might be his last race in Formula 1 as well? Like, yeah, we could say goodbye to Sergio Perez after this race, which is interesting. Uh, well, not, uh, um...
<laughs> I, I I feel like if they will swap him, they would swap him with Ricardo and put Lawson in that uh, second uh, Toro Rosso alongside Sonoda. Like, put Ricardo for half a season for Red, for that, for that Red Bull. If he turns out to be an indecent, stick him in in that Red Bull. If he doesn't, just go out for Formula 1. We're good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, I think I, I've said that a couple of times already. I think they've never considered Yuki for a second or a seat. Like, they're pretty much... It, it's pretty much just a Honda, like, Honda employee in that other seat until Aston, like, fully goes to work steam and Alonso retires eventually. I think they're going to get a Yuki in. Oh, yeah, it's my turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to go for a team that was pretty bad in uh, Silverstone, and that uh, team would be Alpine. Probably, probably pr pretty safe after last two weekends. <laughs> Wow. I mean, uh, if you get a point for that, like, fair play. I mean, I think they were a contender in, uh, in Hungary, for sure. But Alpine, yeah. I think Red Bull is the fourth team in terms of the picking order this weekend. That that's pretty much like if they like if if they cannot get through the field quickly uh, for Max. Obviously, I don't, I don't quite expect Sergio to <laughs> do some heroics. I, I think I think Max gets the penalty and starts next to Sergio. That's my prediction, actually. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Massive impressive team. Uh, hmm. Um, um, I'm gonna go for Haas, you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, pretty much the same reasons as as for uh, Alpine, like Silverstone, very very similar track, and uh, I expect the whole cover the cheeky little P six or P seven again. The same this year, except maybe yeah. Okay. Yeah, second place in qualifying and uh, in the I don't want to call it the race because it wasn't the race, but it was a it was on the podium basically. Man. Like, yeah. so uh, yeah, <laughs> the most worthless podium of the entire. Uh, no, but uh, history, but yeah, okay. Most impressive driver. I'm gonna stick with Hulkenberg for this one, as I uh, pretty much uh, summed it up with the Haspic. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Extra prediction. Um. Hmm. I mean, the, the third one in Spa is like the the most crash prone turn in the, like in the entire calendar, I think. Probably. So, uh, 
yeah, uh, I think this one is a pretty, pretty good one as well. <laughs> Again, <laughs> you're eventually gonna run out because Agnes is gonna eventually like lose his penalty points. <laughs> you better get it soon. <laughs> I actually don't know where. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, if you go both get points for uh, first Magnus and Crab on turn one, that's gonna be <laughs> funny. Yeah. All right, all right. That's uh, that's it for the bunch of predictions. Uh, the last predictions uh, video for before the summer break. Obviously, we're gonna have some content for the summer break as well. Obviously, a lot of reaction for this Grand Prix. So, thank you. We've been watching these two videos today, and yeah, hopefully uh, we're going to get one uh, exciting race. Okay, uh, summed it up. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm going to get a million subscribers now. Okay, uh, see everyone.